Hey everybody, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to my shop. Um, for those returning on the 1972 C10 build here, basically all I'm gonna do today is kind of go over the gaps and the panel alignment as far as the cab relates to the bed and the front fenders and the cowl panel. So I'm gonna start off just by showing you guys what's going on here with the truck and what we gotta do to fix it. So the gaps look real nice and it doesn't look like the, you know, the old beat up work truck. So starting back here, we're going to go over the uh, cab to the bed. As you guys can probably see on that body line there, the cab is sitting between three eighths up to maybe a half inch low. And if you look up here, Our cow panel, I hope that's kind of visible here. It looks worse in person, but we've got quite a gap here, and a nice tighter gap right here. So this is basically just preliminary, how I set it on here. And what we're gonna do to fix this is actually put spacers in the back of the cab, leave the front spacers where they're at, raise the cab up a little bit, and that should fix all the problems with back here and up here. Another thing you can kind of tell right here is the cab door to the fender. At the bottom, it's really tight, pretty much touching right there, and we have a decent gap at the top. Yet again, I'm hoping that shimming back here, excuse the cab, it's not painted yet, it's still kind of rough, but gonna shim right here underneath the cab to the frame and lift it up and we should have good gaps after that so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple spacers in on both sides of the truck and then come back and show you guys the difference and hopefully the cab definitely will align to the bed and hopefully we fixed our alignment to the cow panel here and also the door to the fender. So I'm gonna put those in and be right back. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. So I'll show you what we got going on here. So I raised the back of the cab about three eighths of an inch. And as you can see, we're pretty close. I've got to adjust that just a little bit, but I'm more concerned about the lines. Now the gap distance isn't really important because I can share that later. It's more about the panels lining up, being parallel with another. As you can see, this panel is pretty parallel and we look pretty good here. Again, the distance isn't what, I'm care what I really care about right now. I can fix that shimming it later. It's more about this being level and this being level, not higher and lower on one end to the other. And then as you come down the door to the fender, as you can see, it's almost even. Yeah, I got a little deal right here to fix, but as far as this gap up to here, it's all about even. So. That was pretty much just as simple as just raising up the back of the cap, about three eighths of an inch, leaving the front the same. On this side, again, there's a little bit of body work to still do there, but the line is pretty close. Up here, again, line's pretty close, and the main thing is the gap is even. Again, nice and even so if you guys are having problems with your uh gap issues on your truck to where the the cab isn't lining up right sometimes it's just as simple as shimming your body mounts between the cab and the frame so that was actually easier than i expected sometimes gap issues can be a real pain i'm gonna get the uh hood thrown on here make sure it lines up but i don't think it'll be a problem so gaps are good. Now I can go through and actually fine tune it and get the gaps nice and tight. So again, there's the cowl alignment to the windshield. Looks really good.
and one more time on this side. So there we go. The initial gaps are set. Um, I can fine tune it from here, but that was kind of a big hurdle that was bothering me out of the way just because stuff was not lining up anywhere close. I've put some vehicles back together and it just went back together easy. This one, I'm gonna probably say it's probably due to a lot of the aftermarket parts mixing in with the original body panels as far as the original body panels, meaning the cab to the rest of it. That's probably what the problem was. It might have been the same thing if I would have taken the truck apart and tried to put it back together again after taking all the shims out and blowing the whole truck apart. But good news is it's back together, initial gaps are set, and now I can continue fine tuning it. And then from here, I mean, there's a lot of other chassis assembly and stuff I have to do, but uh, want to get the gap set so I can basically make sure everything fits right because there's nothing worse than painting parts putting them on and realizing they don't fit. So that's what the process of this is, is basically putting the truck together, not for the final time. It's kind of back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes you have to assemble and disassemble a vehicle more than once, twice, or even three times, but it's a lot better to do this initially, get everything fit, and then take it apart, do all your final prep and paint. Then when you put it back together, you know everything's gonna fit and you're not gonna have any problems with scratching panels, denting panels, and just total frustration of everything. So anyway, gaps are looking good and time to sign off on this one. I'm going to come back a little bit later and do a little bit more stuff on the truck.